guys, how's your week going? It is the end of the day for me and I am on my way to run some errands. It is grocery day. You just bobbled in and out. Still haven't found a, um, still haven't found a car mount that will keep you all, keep you all a little bit more cush, but uh, we're, we're always, always on the lookout. Always working on that. Anyways, speaking of always on the lookout, I nearly had a run in if I was not such a compulsive rear view mirror pan scanner. I, I nearly had a little run in. I'm coming up a um, up a street in the car, you know, driving down a street, and this individual just pulls out of a parking space. You know, they were parked on the curb, like floors out of there within a matter of seconds of, of me approaching, you know, no signal, nothing whatsoever to alert me that they were going to be doing that and didn't really give me sufficient time to stop. I mean, fortunately I have such a, I have good reflexes and I slammed on the brakes, but it's like, you know, I don't understand. I mentioned yesterday, I almost got hit walking into the post office by one of these non window checker gas pedal loving <laughs> drivers you have to be careful I, I swear some people they they adapt alternative approaches to operating a motor vehicle and it's hazardous it's hazardous needless to say the other day I did not I did not make it to the uh, to the gas station I got distracted by by Tuesday morning so I need to I need to make sure I do that today because uh, I'm on the I'm on the quarter cusp but I don't know if you can see, I just applied some Aveeno um, sensitive, what's it called? Aveeno sensitive skin. I'll tell you guys when I, later when I get home. The Aveeno, I mentioned it the other day. It's a mineral sunscreen, no fragrance. I applied that about 20 minutes ago. I am really enjoying that one a lot. Um, I know you guys are like, what, another sunscreen, a different sunscreen? The reason I try and do some different sunscreens for reapplication every time I vlog for you guys is I like to have different ones to talk about because not everybody's gonna you know, be able to order the sunscreens from Japan. Uh, it takes a long time for them to come in. Not everybody lives in the United States. Some people want me to talk about the European ones. And I wanna be able to continue to talk about as many as I can so that you guys have options. So um, today's sunscreen that I reapplied was the um, Aveeno one that I like and uh, that one is exclusively mineral people will always ask me things like which is better the mineral ones in the United States or the chemical ones in, in Europe as far as as far as um, protection against the burns they're both they're both very good you know the, the cancer causing rays they both do a, a good job where I can't I can't objectively tell you at all is how they compare in terms of the UVA coverage and you know without a doubt almost certainly the chemical filters in Japan and Europe tennis orb those that I've mentioned on here before they are far superior to to the filters that we have here in the US but as far as how they compare to zinc and titanium it's really hard to say that because the standards for UVA in the United States are so, so wimpy. We have kind of a pass-fail system here, and whereas in Japan and Europe, they have more rigorous, rigorous requirements in order to, for sunscreens to meet that we don't have here. And they've done, they've done studies on just, um, just small studies on just a random sampling of like say 20 sunscreens in the United States to see if they met criteria for the, the European, I think in this particular one I'm thinking of in this particular study, I think they were comparing it to the European standards and all of them failed. All of them failed, they didn't meet the UVA. Of course in that paper they don't disclose what sunscreens they selected, so that's, I mean that they can't do that, um, unfortunately. They can't tell you which ones they used. It would be nice if they did, if they can. Um, at least I don't think they can. But, uh, you know, the study had some certain, had limitations, of course, but they tested both chemical and mineral sunscreens. And the 20 ones that they, they, they looked at, they all failed the, the UVA rigors of Japan, of, of Europe, I, I believe is what it was. So in short, when it comes to UVA, when it comes to UVA, those rays that penetrate deeply, they age the skin, 
UVA is, is what not only ages our skin, contributes to post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and melasma, persistence of sunspots, photoaging. It's what comes in through the window. It's what, you know, you can blame for the fact that depending on where in the world you live, you're more likely to have a skin cancer on the side of the face and the driving side of the face. So for me, it's going to be my left, my left side. My left side's going to look older than my right side. Um, I mean, we have photographic. I mean, there, there are tons of papers on that. You have UVA to thank for that that's what comes in through through the window even even the tints you know the shields and all that you can get on your on your on your window glass they don't they don't block it all, all out um, we have UVA to thank for that in Japan and Europe they have in, in other countries as well um, they have such such robust uh, criteria for for sunscreen testing for the for the UVA component that we just don't we just don't require here first of all our filters aren't great and then we don't require the same the same um, the same stringencies so you just can't compare the two but as I was saying UVA not only is it that what's going to age you and contribute to post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation but for people with a lot of diseases that get worse when they go out in the sun there are a lot of tons of medications out there that when you go out into the sun they can trigger an itchy rash it's kind of a pain if it persists uh, it can get dark um, and those rashes those those drug uh, associated photo exacerbated rashes that's brought out by UVA as well so you know in an idea ideally in here in you know in the United States we would be able to to you know feel confident in our sunscreens like in other countries I don't I don't get the I don't get the, the, the lack of, of the disregard for for that but I, as I said it comes down it comes down to money for the FDA I think you know their financial resources or whatever I'm not I'm not entirely sure but anyways I'm gonna swing into the gas station no more procrastinating this yeah well we're all uh, we're all fueled up and now I'm gonna depollinate my car here it's time to get a get a quick rinse at the clean dry and shanty love these things. They're so much fun. <laughs> Proceed. It's almost like the log flume ride at, um, oh, back up, back it up. Almost like the log flume ride at Disney World. What is that? Splash Mountain? Not quite as exhilarating, but but a little bit. And it is shiny out today. It's a beautiful day. Despite, I think the UV index is somewhere around 10.2 <laughs> right now. I checked before I left, but I think it's gotten brighter. It was, it was slated to be in the 10s, but I think it's up to 0.2. I just made that up. And see, I'm parked here in front of this building that is completely this shiny, coated in this shiny surface. I mean, it's like a double-edged sword here coming it's through the window. It's rather bizarre. The woman sampling the Smarty Pants gummies is like shouting. Smarty Pants gummies available, come try one. <laughs> I guess she wants everybody to get their children's size dose of CoQ10. Here they are. Oh, they have a women's complete. I don't think these are vegan. Most of these multivitamins just end up in your urine anyway. Like, you know, if you take certain, I'm not a nutritionist, but certain, uh, certain vitamins, are, their absorption is blocked by others, but they'll put them all on a multivitamin. It's like, that doesn't even make sense. So, <clears throat> I adore sweet potatoes, but OMG, look at the size of these things. They're like massive. Here's one somebody took out of the bag. <laughs> you could break a window with that. <laughs> My mom gets these. Um, this one looks a little sprouty. They're really good though. Um, she likes them. We usually have them at her house. She steams them in the instant pot. So I just got over here to cover and look how pretty the hydrangeas are. They have out. They're pretty. They smell so good. I love these. Anyways. 
what's up? I'm back, and whew, it's it's hot and uh, and pollen pollen heavy out there. I'm glad I did a, a rinse of my car. Um, but anyways, let me show you what I got. At. I went to of course Costco. You saw me in there, and then I went to Kroger. So I didn't get much. I got a bag of my organic cauliflower rice. Then I also got some uh, organic French bean, green beans. I thought these looked really good. They have these, you can get organic frozen uh, French green beans in the freezer section at Costco. It's actually a much better value than the fresh, believe it or not. And I, But I just wanted, wanted this smaller bag. <laughs> then I also got uh, the apple cider vinegar that I love so much, the Vermont Village with the mother. I use this on my cucumber salads as I showed in my last vlog. Then I got some of their, um, I got some powdered peanut butter. I enjoy this stuff. I haven't had it in a while. It is the brand PB Fit, and it's just uh, powdered peanuts, basically. Um, I really enjoy it, and most people add it to, like, make, most people will reconstitute it in water and use it as, like, a fruit dip, but I will add it to soups and make it, like, a peanut curry. I find that it comes out really good that way. Speaking of curries, I got some more tofu at, at Costco as well. This is the House Foods brand that I like. I get the four, four packs. I really enjoy this and I'm out. Then from Kroger, I got some Good Karma flax milk, unsweetened. This is on Ibotta right now. I think you get a $1.20 cash back or something like that. Um, this is okay. I, I do like it. It has a distinct taste, however, that many people would probably find off-putting, but I like it. And of the non-dairy nut milks, it has added B12, just like the one, just like the almond milk that I get at Costco sometimes. Then I also got a carton of unsweetened cashew milk. Cashew milk is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and I like this silk brand. Speaking of my cucumber salads that I showed you guys the other day, I got some more cucumbers, and then I got a banana for one cent, that's correct. So I have plenty of bananas in my freezer right now and didn't need them, but on Ibotta, you can get 25 cents cash back any banana purchase, and this banana by itself is like 26 cents, so I got it for a penny. <laughs> Can't pass that kind of thing up. Yeah, things like that, I just can't resist whenever there's a savings like that. It just tickles me and makes my day that I get something like that for a penny. You know, something... I, I may not eat this when it becomes ripe, but I'll put it in my freezer and I'll eat it later. And the fact that I got it for a penny, it just, it just makes me chuckle inside. I don't know. <laughs> then from Kroger, I also got a head of Napa cabbage. And I got six Asian pears. I enjoy these. And good news, the bean no buy is up. I, I finished all of my dried legumes, so now I can start buying them again. Um, I'm only allowing myself to buy them one pound at a time, though. <laughs> that way I don't that way I don't end up hoarding them. Uh, so I enjoy the lentils. These uh, don't require any soaking. I just throw them in my instant pot and my uh, kosari and uh, you know with whatever else I want and it cooks really quickly. And one serving has 10 grams of protein and quite a bit of iron, although the bioavailability of plant-based iron is not as not as robust, I suppose, as heme-based iron, but I'll take it. Um, moving right along, speaking of iron, I got some more Rhythm Superfood Beet Chips. I love these so much, I can't pass them up. I, I only like the naked ones, <laughs> the naked ones. And they're still on Ibotta, so I get, I think I get 50 cents cash back on this, this bag. Yeah, I'm telling you, Ibotta, this is what, the third Ibotta, Ibotta rebate I'm gonna get today? That, and I think, I think I also get a rebate on 25 cents off of any cucumber purchase, so got that. Then I swung over to the bulk bins and got some more of these jumbo organic Thompson raisins. I'm really adoring those. Then I love beets so much. I couldn't pass this up, although it's not organic and I'm sure it's nutrient content is less than ideal and it's sort of sad, but um, I didn't want to hurt its feelings, so I bought it anyways. So no salt added, just unsliced beets in water. This was 20 cents, I think. It's the equivalent of three and a half servings of beets. Um, I am really lazy when it comes to beets. I do not want to deal with peeling them, so 
I will I'll just buy them however I can get them <laughs> including overpriced overpriced and dehydrated and, and cheap and cheap and dirty in a can <laughs> um, and then uh, speaking of canned th canned things I also I actually like these canned bean sprouts uh, in the non BPA can these are still on sale at at Kroger I know they are they're much better fresh and you can easily sprout your own and and all of these things then this was on sale. This is purely inspired organic protein. It is another vegan protein. I thought I would give a chance since I'm not enjoying, um, I'm almost, I'll finish it. I'm not really enjoying that Vega coconut almond one, but this one was also on sale, purely inspired. I thought I would get it to you. Just tied me over until my next iHerb haul where I can get the Muscle Farm plant-based one that I like better. Um, but this one, it's basically pea protein and brown rice protein, a brown rice protein blend with um, some flaxseed and what other some other stuff, but it looked it looked promising. Then I got some fresh organic ginger to have in my kosari. Then I also purchased some vegan shrimp deveiners. <laughs> That's what I'm calling these. They're they're essential on a plant based diet. These Dentec Easy Brushes for at least with my my dentition, the way my teeth are spaced, um, I tend to get things wedged in between the spaces. So this is, this gets like, you think your teeth are clean, okay? This is kind of gross. You think your teeth are clean after brushing and just after flossing, and then you, you come by with this thing and you have no idea how disgusting your teeth still are. I mean, it's, it's alarming. My gum health, I'm sure, has done a complete a complete turnaround. Not that it was ever bad to begin with, but I think I'm really, really getting an A plus these days on my gum health. At least that's what my dentist was encouraging me the last time I had I had a checkup. Speaking of which, I think it, I think I'm coming up on my six month in a few in a few months, so I better make that appointment. But then, not only is the bean no buy up, but I couldn't help it, you guys. <sighs> Tuscany Candle is BOGO right now. Buy one, get one free. Could not, could not pass that up. Sadly, they had no lemon sugar cookie candles. That's my favorite Tuscany Candle scent. So I took it um, as an opportunity to try some new fragrances that I've always been eyeing but um, never chose. So today I got the Vanilla Cinnamon Brulee. And then... <laughs> I also got the Sea and Sand. It was a bit of a uh, last minute decision. Um, I really liked it. Um, I was surprised. I thought it was going to smell either too manly or too... Um, sometimes these these beach uh, scented ones have an overwhelming like flowery scent to them that's just headache inducing. But this one was really nice. And even though I don't care usually for the the, some of their striped candles. I kind of like this brown, white, blue. I don't know. It's very beachy. I think this would look great in a beach lodge, which obviously I don't have sporting here, but you get the picture. Anyways, that's what I got at Kroger and Costco this week, so I'm going to put everything away, and I'll check in with you guys later. Well, hey guys. What's up? I uh, finished up at the gym and just got out of the shower. Um, coming back to what I was yammering about, this is the sunscreen that I uh, reapplied before I got in the car today, the Avena, Avena ultra calming daily moisturizer with broad with sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 30 this is fragrance free I am really liking this one a lot it is um, exclusively mineral sunscreen and no fragrance very soothing um, colloidal oatmeal based um, humectant uh, vehicle and kind of a lotion it's not greasy um, some of you say that it's too casty for you um, and it does to a certain extent a little bit particularly the first squeeze out um, there is there is a little bit of, of clumpage similar to um, another personal favorite that stings many of you all the CeraVe AM um, the CeraVe AM facial moisturizing lotion they also have a lighter um, lotion. This is a combination sunscreen, whereas I believe their, their ultra light lotion for the face, the SPF 30, which I've tried before and is also good, is exclusively chemical. So this one has zinc in it. That one I believe does not, but both are good in my opinion and I like them. But this one's, this one's really, really good um, and is exclusively mineral for those of you looking to avoid some of the chemical filters. Um, you know, uh, maybe they sting you, irritate you, or whatever. 
Another drugstore American favorite of mine personally is the Copper Tone Sensitive Skin Faces with Zinc Oxide. Really enjoy this one. Same formulation as some of their other sunscreens, but more expensive. So I uh, don't necessarily buy this particular this particular tube of it. You know, get look at the ingredients. Some of their other sunscreens are the exact same ingredients at a fraction of the price. So buyer, just be cognizant. <laughs> But I have to say, winning the American Drugstore sunscreen game for me, um, personally, and just one that I think will go over well with more of you than some of the others, is the Neutrogena Pure and Free Liquid Sunscreen. This is exclusively mineral uh, in a liquid formulation. Not heavy, not greasy, will not should you know will not break you out it's it is a tiny bit casty but the zinc and titanium in this i'm almost certain are at least micro sized if not nano sized particles so um you know going to blend into the skin aesthetically a little bit better um and then up up ticking in price a favorite and i totally believe that it's completely worth worth the price because it just it just handles well i mean it just handles well is the else md uv clear broad spectrum spf 46 this one i mean i i love this even even if this was not a sunscreen if it was exclusively a moisturizer i would use it they have moisturizers as well that are phenomenal by the way but this sunscreen as well as the uv elements they also have my favorite tinted sunscreen um is the elta md uv what is it uv so UV, they have two tinted sunscreens. One of them is a little bit more yellow, but the one I love, I'll list down below for you guys. It is fantastic. Um, and then, uh, you know, they've got a variety of great ones, but this one is, this one's a favorite. The Sport, the Sport, the Sport is my favorite, I think, just because it's kind of no, no nonsense. It's their least expensive one and water resistant. That one, you know, if, if you need a gateway into Elta and the, the fact that it's a little pricier uh, scares you, Go for the sport. Go for the sport. I, I really like that one a lot. It lasts a long time. I have to say, I do not see the enthusiasm behind this drunk elephant umbra sheer physical daily defense. I reviewed it, reviewed it for you all. And as I said in that review, I think the Derma E um, sunscreen is superior to this. Um, for those of you who want, this is a non-nano, exclusively zinc. I believe it's non nano sized exclusively zinc sunscreen that is cruelty free, blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, uh, I think it's, is it vegan? I, I don't know. It's got a variety of, of, of um, like plant derived oils. It's very moisturizing, but I just, I don't know. It's pretty casty and I don't see the enthusiasm for this. I know they have a tinted one. One of the things I've noticed though, I've played around with this here and there a bit more, and one of the things that I, did, I neglected to mention in that video, and I, I'm, I'm coming to realize more and more um, as I use it here and there, is that you put it on, it goes on just as it goes on, as I showed in that video. But a few, I, I don't know, within an hour, it really, it starts to do this like peeling up thing. And I'm someone who wears no makeup, so it just, I don't know, it's not playing with the natural moisture on my face or the humidity here in Houston or whatever it just I don't have a lot of comp a lot of confidence in this that just doesn't seem to stay on my face I mean that shouldn't happen so comment below has that happened to you anyone who uses this it's really popular people love it they say it goes well under makeup but I'm not even wearing makeup and it doesn't go well on face so I'm not sure I, I just don't understand the enthusiasm for this sunscreen but um, if you like it and are using it and it stays on your face fantastic you know that that is half the battle that's why I you know want to continue to talk about as many sunscreens as I can for you guys because while not everything is going to necessarily fit my lifestyle or be great for my skin or what I like to use um, I still want to go over things you know go over all the different options including you know some of the ones that are available in Japan because they have better filters and the ones in Europe they have better filters um, and and the ones in the United States because they're you know available to my American viewers without having to wait a long time. So as many sunscreens as I can talk about, I am happy to do so. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.